Joining us this evening is a Canadian actress who founded a company called That Showbiz right here in the GTA because she felt there was something lacking. Sarah Magney, welcome to what she said. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell us about That Showbiz and the story of how and why you decided it was important to found this. Yes. So I went to school to study musical theater in New York City uh, because at the time there was nothing really for specifically musical theater here in Toronto. And when I got there, it was very overwhelming because I was surrounded by a lot of American students, a lot of American young people who had a lot of musical theater training and a lot of really professional musical theater training, even in high school. And I was like, there was no place for that for me. So I started a program just in the summers. I would come home in the summers and do an intensive program with musical theater, training kids who want to pursue this and uh, really giving them the taste of the Broadway training that I got over there, bringing it back home. Why is it that it's prevalent in the U.S. and not here? I'm not sure. I think it's different now. I really do. I do think it's different now, especially post-secondary. But I think there's still a gap as far as kids in high school. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean kids in high school? That they don't – they're not they don't exposed? Really, the, they're not – Yeah. but They're not exposed and they're not being – trained to do musical theater specifically. I feel like there's a lot of classical music and there's a lot of theater as well, but there's no bridge of the two. So you are holding auditions yes. for the summer intensive program. Tell us what, what the auditions entail. So they entail a short monologue memorized, one to two minutes, as well as a song, preferably from a musical because we are a musical theater program, sung a cappella without music. Okay. And, and so, so what are, what are ages and ages and qualifications. Yeah, 11 to 17 is our musical theater intensive program, the mm -hmm. one you have to audition for. And then we have one from 7 to 11, which is a junior program. You can just register for that one, and that's more of a, a for younger students for training. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the qualifications really, what I believe, is if you show up, that's half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah. true. It's, well, it's true. true. It takes a lot of, uh, a lot of yeah, courage. Yeah, it really is. And that's, and that's true in the professional world as well. You're showing up, and that's, that shows that you want to do this. We're here to train you. So if you can show up and you can have your stuff memorized, you can imagine that's hard enough. <laughs> so what does <laughs> a day cool. in the life of the camp look like? Yes. So it is an intensive. So it's pretty mm -hmm. intense. At the end of three weeks, we put on a full length professional musical costume sets. Everything's memorized. Everything's ready to go. It's pretty amazing. So every day, yes, we're working toward the musical, but, but we also have special guest artists, special training. We do audition workshops so you can learn how to use your skills outside of, of the program. So, but what would the day be like? I get there at 9, nine. o'clock in the morning, and then what? Do they get acting lessons? Do they get voice lessons? What What are they being trained for? All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so we've got a choreographer. We do voice. We do acting. We do audition workshops. We do improv. We do literally everything. <laughs> so is it Monday to Friday? Yes, Monday to Friday. And how many people do you have teaching there? Or uh, I guess you have guests. Yes, we have guests come in. coming in and out. Uh, we've had we've been very lucky. We've had some Broadway performers come in and train our students, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, so there's about three to four of us on any given day that are that are working every single day. And then we've got special guests that come in and out. Well, this is centered in the GTA. What about the mm -hmm. rest of the country? Are there is that gap being filled anywhere else? I hope so. Uh, maybe we can eventually fill it. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, theater is really, really important. And what I learned and how I, I ended up expanding this program into other areas, I have a special needs program now as well. So I think theater is incredibly, incredibly important as far as learning life skills and learning. I, I can sit here and have an interview with you because I have all this theater training and I'm confident and comfortable being here. So I think it's really, really important. So what do the parents tell you? Their kids come. Maybe they are never going to be performers, but you're talking about life skills. Mm -hmm. What is the reaction from parents about what life skills their children have learned? It's really amazing. It's it's far beyond my expectations as well. And I love theater. I believe theater can save the world. I'm all about that. But uh, then I see it actually happening. And I have parents coming up to me being like, my kid didn't have any friends and comes here and now has this community and now is actually able to reach out and have friends because they just didn't know how to interact, how to talk to people, how to go up to people. 
Well, this, I mean, this, you mentioned that you have a special needs program too. Does this come from your stint with famous people players, of which we are huge supporters? Yes. Of? I love famous people players. Uh, I was involved with special needs. Before then, I have a brother who's on the autism spectrum, who I'm actually training to teach the special needs class, as I believe it should be a program run by their community. I shouldn't be there. So I'm training him to to do it. So I'm there just as the catalyst for him. Uh, And I wrote a one-woman show about my experience having a brother on the autism spectrum and our relationship and what that meant to our family. And that really resonated with a lot of people. And he's, he's a fabulous actor as well. And so that, it kind of stemmed from there. And then, yes, I worked with Famous Fuel Players, which was amazing. You have the summer programs, but what about during the year? How does that work? I mean, if somebody signs up, do they, do they come after school one day a week, tw- two days a week, or Saturdays? Or how does, how, how does it look? Yeah, uh, the Masterclass program currently is on Monday evenings. Uh, they're performing this evening. Uh, the Special needs program is on Sundays, and we have a younger mini stars program. So they're all either on the weekend or after school. So how many students do you have? I max I cap everything at twenty, but uh, the special needs programs I cap at ten. So I have a couple of classes, so that way they can get more individual attention. So what are your plans to expand? If you think theater is going to save the world, <laughs> I do. I do think theater is going to save the world. My plan to expand is to continue to offer different programs, uh, continue to outreach. I want to start going into marginalized communities. I want to do theaters in the prison system. I want to be involved. I want to just move around and do all of that. Uh, but I'm only one person, <laughs> so it's it's going to be a training process and a growing process Sounds that way. Sounds to me like you think theater is a healing, uh, almost like psychotherapy. I do. I do. I have some drama therapy background. Uh, I didn't before I started as a performer, I wanted to perform on Broadway. I have a lot of friends who perform on Broadway. I go and see them all the time. It's wonderful. And then I took a drama therapy class once, and I was like, no, this is it. Like, this is what, what I need to be doing. And I get to see transformation every single day. And there's more connection there than there is to an audience. I just don't feel the same connection when I'm performing in front of an audience as when I'm right there with the student. So you are now doing special needs, but you'd like to reach out. What is the reaction from the communities um, that you reach out to? I just didn't realize that there, was so, there wasn't anything available as far as special needs programming goes in the theater. And because it was so beneficial, I was like, okay. <laughs> and they, were just wanted, they just wanted more. So here I am. Um, and the prison community, you said you like to go uh, behind the bars, into the big house. Have you talked to anybody of the ministry about that? That's, yeah, that's a very big thing. And there's a mm. lot of red tape, of course. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, companies doing it as far as in, in the States. So I'm just looking into how I can do that. I would like to start at detention centers for young people and kind of expand that way. I think mm-hmm. the young people that are in these systems have the opportunity to change and grow. And they need to tell their stories. Everybody needs to tell stories. That's human nature. We need to tell our stories. It's so important. Now, one of your students is actually living the dream in New York. Yes. Tell us a little bit. One of my students started with me eight years ago. And uh, I, because I started, I was working with another program first, and then I started my program. And he just followed me everywhere I went. He, he was so amazing, and he wanted to go to school in New York and wanted to go to the same school I went to. And so I trained him and trained him and trained him. He auditioned, and he got in. That must be very satisfying for, for you as well as him. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm so proud of him. So he's in New York City now. Wow, that's amazing. So tell, tell everyone how they reach you, your website, etc. Yes, so you can reach us at www.thatswithazshowbiz.com. Uh, my name is Sarah. You can email me. Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at thatshowbiz.com to book an audition or to chat. And we're going to put everything up uh, across our, our social media sites. If you want to check it out, there will be links there at What She Said Talk. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. This is What She Said. Stay with us.